kid, I have some harsh realities. This is how it's actually going to go for you. No! You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And now. Welcome back to more meaningful style YouTube content here in the Flophouse. And does it get more meaningful than me not knowing what the hell I'm playing? This is the super energy combat armor for the Dreamcast. So these, this is going to be like 10, I think, Dreamcast games I've never heard of before. To be fair, I've heard the name Rent a Hero before. I think it was for the Saturn. Ooh, got to pick my name. There, I got my name done. Maddie moves to Hangover Park, the site of, of his father's new job. Okay, that's a lame story set up already. Daddy's got a new job. Being new in the neighborhood, your family invited your new neighbors to a housewarming party. That's lame. Ah, uh, testing, testing, one, two, one, two, testing. So I should uh, make note that this has a new English patch translation. I think their name was on the main menu, kind of missed it. Um, thank you for coming and welcome to our new home. From now on, we're your new neighbors, so please welcome our strange family to your neighborhood. Don't look in my back shed! Enjoy the food and don't look in my shed! Yeah! Let's party! <laughs> this is already pretty funny. Oh jeez, is that Ken? Hey Maddie, make sure you take care of our guests and don't forget to introduce yourself. All right, so I'm Ken enough to go talk to all these. Look at this guy double fisting it. Hi, I'm Baron Albright, munch munch. Your food is great. My wife should arrive soon. He's fat, you see. So that's why he's eating so much. It's hilarious. I'm Casey Hogan. Brother, I work for Microsoft, dude. Right now we're working on software called Bimbos. <laughs> Do you have a computer to use the internet? Hell no. I don't go on that shit. No, I'm not missing out. I'll, you'll never catch me on the internet. I'm, that's straight up Phoenix Wright, this guy. Hi, I'm Phoenix. This is my wife, Mina. Please play my video game, Phoenix Drive. I'm Kent, I'm looking for a girlfriend. Do you know anybody? No, get away from me, Kent. Put that kid on a list already. I don't trust Kent already. You can't go outside until Baron's wife is here. Why? She's not the boss of me. It's a phone. Here's a phone. I'm getting big Deadly Premonition vibes from this already. The, the sounds of the text going across the screen. How weird everyone is already. Daddy seems to be having fun while I'm busting my butt cooking. Don't bother me. Go away. All right. All right. Sure, is that my mom? I don't even know. Who's my mom? I'm Cecilia Hogan. Brother, I came here with my husband. That doesn't work for me, dude. All right, that's, that's enough Hoganisms. Daddy, I mean, dad. Mr. Baron is gobbling up all the food. He's gonna eat us out of house and home. What? All the food will be gone. We gotta stop this asshole from eating all our food. Uh, what? Can't make any more food. They're literally making it. Order any kind of food, doesn't matter. Just order it now. Order a bunch of playing cards with peanut butter smeared on them. Since I'm entertaining our guests, I've been preparing something special. After your order, tell me how much it costs. That's weird. What's he planning? He's gonna murder everyone, isn't he? This is this is where the villain arc starts. All right, well, unfortunately, this phone is right here. Service cafe, sure. Ring, ring, hello. Congratulations, you won. You're my tester for my new invention. Whoops, I mean, I'll give you something special besides the food. By the way, your order's 300 gold. It's gold. I love gold. Why can't it just say dollars? Make sure to tell your father that all your, sp the hidden Spanish gold you have upstairs is gonna be used for this fucking food. All right, sure. Oh. This isn't where dad, this is where dad is. I don't know why I keep saying daddy. I don't know. I've been thinking about Pedro Pascal. Anyway, what are you doing back here? What, Maddie? How much is the food? 300 gold. Okay. Yeah, I just have the 300 gold in my pocket. Cool. Ask me. Ask me what I've been doing. Transform. Oh, yeah. Henshin. Oh. I was looking for the costume that I used at last year's carnival. This costume is good luck. I do my best fucking in this. <laughs> this is great. See ya. Is there a bunch of Sega shit on my shirt? I see the Mega Drive logo. And Maddie's embarrassed to be part of the family, family. Amazing. 
All right, what? Oh, hello? It must be the food that we ordered. Come here, Maddie. You have the money, don't you? There's a black void outside. What the? Thank you for your business. I'm Grandpa from Service Cafe. I came here just for you. Your food costs 300 gold. Please pay me now. Okay, I'll take care of the food. Oh, it just popped into her hands. You see that shit? Anyway, now you are my test. I mean, I would like to rent you a special gift. You must try it. I have to go now. Thank you for your business. Call us again. Bye. Wait, what's happening? What's happening? What the? I said what the quite a few times already. There's a costume, like a hero or some sort of cartoon, and a card in a special gift box. What a bunch of bollocks. If you wear this costume, you can change into a real hero. Now transform with this and be cool. I'll, no, I refuse. I'll never be cool. Oh, shit. I'm a fucking common writer now. Did you see that? Uh, my face wasn't like a weird insect though, so it's not 100% accurate. What is he doing? He's gonna, he's gonna wh whip his dick out, isn't he? Gar gar, this is a special party. I have to put on a show or it's no fun. Hey everyone, look at me. Morphin time. I can transform too, I'm just like my daddy. Grr. Who the heck are you? You think you can beat me up? You fool, I will beat you up. Uh -huh. The father is really into it. He gets close. It whispers to his son. Hey son, where'd you, where'd you get that hero costume? Like father, like son, you truly are my son. I wasn't sure. Anyway, I wanted to be the hero. Oh well, I'll let you win this time. Father has been acting with so much passion. He's passionate. Maddie has no choice but to fight him. All right, what is this even gonna be? Oh shit. Oh, oh! He's dead! It killed my papa! He's fucking dead. I don't know. Who you you all saw it, right? He came at me. Munch munch, what's going on? That's that's the fat voice. Not much different from my own. Wow, what a show. This is Phoenix, right? Yahoo, this is great. You beat up the monster. Oh no, is it serious? Is he okay? He's he's dead. He's not breathing. What happened, honey? Are you alright? Even though Maddie has hit him lightly, his father has been KTFO'd. He's in shock and stands dumbfounded. He wonders what kind of costume this is. I look like Captain Commando. Which is obviously a very good thing. Is that a music video? What's that? <gasps> Yo, let's go. No matter who or where, everyone yearns for it. They all want a piece. Surely you yearn for it as well. Defeating bad guys, an ally of an ally of justice. Those guys look very vaguely evil. Even you can become a hero right now. Come on! Even common people can become immortal. Oh, could be combat armor. Every day you got <laughs> I got the job done successfully. Today as well. Oh, that, but my reward. Oh, he let a kid die there in an explosion. Was next to nothing. Suddenly, I've become a hero. I punched out my dad. A hero easy to get in touch with. Yeah, I, I punched that guy. Instant Superman. Let the hero. That was sick. Row, row, fight the power. High tech company Seca rents out the combat armor for the good of mankind. Like, who's that? So yeah, I was saying at the start, but I got distracted that I thought this was a Sega game. Uh, sorry, I thought this was a, a, a Saturn game. I didn't know that there was a Dreamcast version. Maybe it's a port, I don't know. Where is everybody? Did I never have a family? Was it something in my head? Oh wait, no, there they are. Uh, he's, yeah, his, his, his blood is all over the place. Ouch, that hurts. Honey, would you please take it easy? Oh, I think I got too excited. I was foolish. I should have taken it so far. Your father goes too far. That's why I love him. Yeah, that's great. He's passionate, you see. Like, what is his job? This house is massive. It feels like a Sims house, though. Fuck this, I'm out of here. Oh, what? That was quite an accident. Yes, I saw it all through the window outside. I killed my dad. Fortunately, your father was wearing that puffy costume. He's not badly injured, though, right? I don't know. Anyway, thank you very much for trying on my special costume. And let me get back in my old man. That armor that you wore is one of my great inventions. The costume that you wore is called Super Energy Combat Armor. I invented it for combat. Yeah, well. Well, it's in it's in the title, so that that checks out. Would you like to be a rent a hero? Not really. When you rent the special armor, you must help people in order to be rewarded. This is how you pay your rent. 
Anyway, I'll also give it. Hey, are aliens here on Earth? Are aliens confirmed to exist? Yes. Do I still have to pay rent or my mortgage tomorrow? Yes. Wait, what? Game machine called the Creamcast. <laughs> yeah, all the Coomers today use the Creamcast. If you contact our company, Seca, your goal is to become the king of cream. All right. Maddie received the <laughs> Now I just feel like I'm Maximilian. I don't know. Um, most of you know this and maximilian just carries around a dreamcast in his, in his house every day just walks in circles just like this uh maddie has turned on the dreamcast oh my god that's amazing hello this is mew which job would you like your first oh, it's the only job i can do is this is the job you want yep it's the only one you listed uh, I'll give you your first assignment from Seca, but again, this is a trial job until you're ready. Please go to my my Donald Burger in Hangover Park. Miss Dr. Trouble! Dr. Trouble. I wonder what he's always into. Alright, so we're finally let outside. Again, there's just this like dark abyss outside. Oh, oh, it's kind of a shithole. Why is there like a British phone booth here? Are we in the Britons? Are you, who are you? You're the guy from before. Sorry, re instantly off the bat, I cannot read this because I'm too busy looking at that dork sign. You need to advertise Red to Hero in order to inform people about us. I'll give you eight flyers. I'll hand them out one by one. This is a fun first mission. And remember, since you're advertising Red to Hero, it's a point you wear the costume. Sell your image. Shake that money maker. Oh! Very Ginyu Force here you take a flyer please don't sneeze on it man look at yourself i feel sorry for you <laughs> that's so raw every joe blow splamoni here needs a flyer yeah, you will take that shit what kind of character are you supposed to be let me see that flyer rent a hero it brings back memories of the old days when i was a hero i mean i'm still a hero i challenge you to a fight We'll see who the real hero is. Is this? It's him, isn't it? I'll show you a new combo style of fighting. Let's see if you can stop me. Bring it on. It's the... Oh! Sagata Sanchiro. I Can we confirm this? He does have a name on his life bar. Oh, I've been doing bad already. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, shit. Oh, he doesn't like that. He hates being thrown, but throws to do the big damage. Get off me. Oh, my God. He's just doing virtual fighter shit. I have, like, no good fighting moves. Like, all my buttons, I just have this punch and, like, a grapple. Oh, that's it. Okay, never mind. Oh, man, you're a true hero. Since I lost, I'll show you my combo fighting style. Strong style. Use my fighting style against all who are evil. I'll teach you a new combo from time to time. Oh, my God. Yeah. Thank you. Ready Hero has learned new combo. So much better than old combo. All right, now with this new combo, you're ready to take care of business. A true hero is somebody who is liked by everybody. Nobody likes a hero with attitude. Eh. I can't believe he's in this game and he's not named though. Hit the Y button to bring up your move screen. You can choose your combo. I got distracted, so we'll be handing out flyers. I'm not sure if combo will be a big help in that. At least I run fast in this mode. Hey, there's somebody. <gasps> I could be a hero. Hey, baby, I want a dancer. Maybe we can skip all that mumbo jumbo. Let's get busy, baby. I can dance. I can sing. I'm a double threat. I'm cool like that. This ugly man has been harassing me for a while. He's made me late for my date with my boyfriend. Well, this fucking Final Fight Streets of Rage, motherfucker. Hey, I'm your boyfriend. Forget about this clown in a Halloween costume. Come on, baby. <laughs> hey, punk, you're wasting our time. Can't you see that I'm getting busy with this broad being a clown. This ogre has been keeping me here. I just can't get away. He's so annoying. I just learned new combos. You're fucked, sir. Uh, uh, uh. That was it. That's the one. I like jumping kick. Like, what else do I have? Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, that's a pretty cool kick, actually. He's dead. Yeah, fighting is a little too quick, though. Please, please, spare me. I won't pip it. That's not what you were doing. Pipping ain't easy. I promise I won't be back. 
Oh, wow, you're so strong. Thank you for saving me. Can I have one of your flyers, please? Oh, that's that that works out really well. Oh, uh, what what is your name? Ooh, my hero name. Okay, it's different than my regular name. I'm just Maddie in real life, but I have to pick something that that really kind of encapsulates me. All right, so Fart Lord is your name. <laughs> I see you're a hero for hire. People can rely on a rent a farter to save them. Uh, there's, there's, not, there's no greater humor than farting humor. This may be small, but please take this. Uh, you have received 2,000 gold. Getting paid. Gosh, I'm so late for my day. I have to go now. Bye-bye, hero. Fart Lord. It's Fart Lord. Don't forget it. What the? Hello, this is Mew. I'm currently checking your job status. Receive flyers to Dr. Trouble, who is way near my Donald Burger, and, and transform into Renier and distribute those flyers to the people. After you advertise Sega. I like how, like, Sega is like, we need kids to advertise in our own games. Achoo! Disgusting. Excuse me. Maddie handed out two flyers. Why don't you wear your mask, you fucker? Okay, there's this lady again. Did you have that date? What's happening? Hi, thanks again for saving me from that ogre. That Urukai. Unfortunately, it seems that my date has left because I was so like, oh, what a bad day. Oh, oh, oh. I was waiting so long that it got a little hungry. I still had faith that you'd come, so I didn't go too far. All of this could have been trivialized with a cell phone. Yeah, let's go. We could go anywhere you want, even the dump. Spare no expense. Hello? Flyers? Oh, wait, we can buy shit. Um, energy drink? Sure, maybe, yeah. Energy drink. Gives you wings. Yes. She seems to be surprised, okay? She's still surprised. I congratulate you for being so brave to wear that suit. Ha ha. Yeah, it's real funny. Is there anyone that wants a flyer? Please. What's that? Is it a new store ad? Even so, nobody can beat our store. You have now have completed your task. Okay, dude, not everyone's in competition with your fucking sloppy burgers, dude. Jesus, get over yourself. Oh, he's right there. Cool, cool, cool. Can we go to New Dork yet? I'll give you the small reward. There's three, well, a thousand gold. Well done. Now we're getting somewhere. Go home and choose your next assignment. Like, it'd be a lot better if you gave me, like, I don't know, like a portable thing. And I can just take it, whip it out, not go home and boot up my cream cast. All right, it's time to cream. Honey, you're gonna finish your extra creamy whipped cream and you're gonna fucking like it! So, what, what else do we... I hope we have something better than handing out flyers. Request from Kent. Wait, which person's Kent? Ken Hogan! Forget which... Kent's one of the assholes that were, was at the party. That party feels like a lifetime ago. I feel like we've all... We're not the same Rent-A-Hero that we were, you know, roughly 10 to 15 minutes ago. What are you kids doing, idiots? Uh... I wonder what this is. What is it? I've never seen one so What is it? <laughs> what the? Haha, -ha, you just stepped in dog poo. Haha. -ha. Far Lord has become famous. That's the guy who stepped in. No. I'll never recover from this. I gotta get a, I, I have to move on. You know, we, we have to move on from, from, from the things in the past, right? Can't, can't dwell on it. So this is where fucking Hogan is? Oh my god, it's this shit face. Thank you for coming. Why don't you keep, do me a favor? Keep it quiet, though. Can you please give this letter to Alice? Please don't tell me to do it on my own. Fair enough. It's a love letter, so it's a little hard for me to give it to her myself. Just put it in the fucking mailbox, loser. Like, you could just put it in the mailbox. Like, you're spending money on me, on my services, I guess. All right, Ken has asked you to deliver a love letter to your sister. Yeah, super not cool. I'm sure it's going to be a... Oh, what the... Now I'm back to being Axel. Oh wait, now I guess I need to take a battery? Cause yeah, there's gonna be some like weird miscommunication where I'm gonna give it to my sister and she's gonna be like, oh no. It's gonna be all awkward as shit. Where the hell is she? She ain't got no social life. You're looking for Alice, I don't know where she is. What's that in your hand? Is that a love letter? You go, boy! I was went to Greco's house to learn how to make cherry pie. All right, so she's making cherry pie. Sure. All right, Mr. Wright, Alice is with my wife. They decided to go to Mr. Albright's place. Fuck. 
Ugh, hello? Yeah, he's double fisted again, dude! This cherry pie is so good, I'm sorry, but you can't have any. This pie is so good! They're out playing somewhere? Focus on the pies, Jesus! Oh, we're playing hide and seek in the park. I'm in it, and I'm looking for Alice and the boys. They don't see me around this park. They're probably hiding by the houses nearby. I told them to stay in the park. This is the park! This, like, shitty slab of concrete. Are you the Griff? my time already. What is wrong with you people? I'm out of here. Hey, asshole, take this stupid love letter. I'm trying to hide. No, no, don't go. Uh, eh. Okay, the, the stupid kids that made me stand and poo are here. Still hate them. I need to find her before the fire in the oven overcooked. You went to go play outside when you had something in the oven? I give up. Please come out. Jesus. Yeah, I win. I'm the number one hide and go seek person. I hope your cherry pies are good. That was awful. But I guess it can't be all action, Rent a Hero. All right, where's the sister? The cherry pie came out perfect. Alice ran home to show everyone. She's a fast little girl. Yeah, she's actually super annoying. Why didn't I shove the, the stupid love letter in her hands before she left? Yeah, look at my shirt. It says 32X in Genesis. You need to see me? What, a love letter from who? What? It's from Kent. I told him I just wanted to be friends. Oh, man. You've given Alice the love letter. Please tell Kent the reaction. Oh, my God. I get to give him this news? That's perfect. I hate Kent. This is going to work out really well for me. Oh, this is going to be good. So, what did she say? She wants to start as friends? That means she wants to take it slow. All right. That means in a month or two, we'll be a couple. No. No. This is wrong. It's not how it's gonna go. Here's your reward. Uh, yeah, at least pay me for all this shit. You've received 500 gold. What, cheapskate little bitch? How dare you? Then we'll be a couple, we'll be married, my life is set. Kid, I have some harsh realities. This is how it's actually gonna go for you. No! You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And now. So that is Rent a Hero. Um, I, I'd play this more if you guys want, but we do have some other games I'd like to get to. But this is pretty funny, this translation, uh, this unofficial English patch by uh, Vincent and Rentamotters. Very good stuff so far. Um, I don't know if this actually had like a like a, a Saturn version or anything, but if this series is worth playing, like I'll go into it because this is the silly shit I like. And again, big wafts of deadly premonition, which is no bad thing. Uh, but for now... We have to move on to more casts of the dream. Oh yeah, that's the logo you want. In fact, I actually like that logo. It's nice and simple. It's kind of colorful. It's a little gay, which is fun. Uh, so this is Evil Twin. I think this was like a thing in Europe. I've seen this cover before. I, I don't know anything about it. I, I think it's a 3D platformer. I'm not sure. It starts this little shit kid. That's a little shit kid right there. Evil Twin Cyprian's Chronicles. I mean, this looks European shit. In utero. Okay. That's that's quite a name for your company. Oh, let's start it up. This is Trey European. Maybe too European for this. Let's maybe we go to options. English. Okay, good. That's language I speak. Kind of. All right, Demi Island, okay. I guess it's ruled by the Iron Fist of Demi Lovato, I suppose. The Demi would be half in French. So it might be half island, I'm not sure. I, I can kind of already see where this is going. Use Gimo, yeah, what a hero, not really. Not great, actually. So of all the, you know, I chronicled a bunch of the crazy games that Ubisoft made back in the old uh, Flophouse Files series. This one did not come up. Or I, I just didn't notice it. I guess this is it, this is only on the Dreamcast in terms of consoles, I believe. But I could also believe this being on PC at some point. All right, these they they are all responsible for this original concept. I, I'm already getting like uh, Alice, uh, Alice Madness Returns, or just whatever uh, the the Alice franchise of video games. Already getting vibes from that. We're sure we're sure milking this intro. I know we wanna we wanna promote the Atmos here. Oh look, Stefan Falcon did did just the programming for just the Dreamcast version. So that would feed into my theory that there's at least a PC version of this. Yeah, we all find ourselves staring at nothing. Just stare, staring at the title. What are you up to? You waiting for me? <laughs> you all right? The hero from Bully. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. 
So shall we go? These are not the voices I expected. Yeah, yeah, evil twin. It looks like Chucky. This is weird. Never never played a Dreamcast game quite like this. Because when you think of the Dreamcast, what do you think of? You think of bright, colorful arcade games. Okay. This room is intense. Uh, uh, uh. Happy birthday, Sif. <laughs> Get away from me. Dude, we made you a cake. Enjoy your... your Apple juice. Hey, what's the matter? His parents dying on his birthday. Oh shit! Did you guys know that? <laughs> no. Why do they hire Did only adults that are not even trying to have like kid Sorry. voices play all these you want some? kids? I mean, is this his first birthday with these kids? Did they have they not gone through this? What the hell? Is Chucky Child has like psychic powers too? That's too much. Like, let's give Chucky psychic powers on top of everything else. Oh, that can't be good. It's like, like that disco ball gonna electrify them all? Holy sh- what? This is going some places, folks. Yeah, I drew my comic books, I love Spawn. Lenny? Why is everybody asking the me- The hell is that thing? Questions? Party's over. Like, I did not expect Lovecraftian tentacles. What is this thing? Is it a rat in a trench coat? You don't even exist. Ah, uh, okay. An imaginary gadget. Wait, am I evil? Is this like that game that where you play as that evil, like, exorcist child? Wow, we see teleporting back to the USS Enterprise? What the hell? Like, am I the baddie? What the hell? Where did- Whoa! So, we haven't played anything yet. Hopefully a level starts here, just just so I can see what how the hell this even works. But is this gonna be like Psychonauts be before Psychonauts? Like, there's psychic powers obviously involved, and like, weird dreamlike uh, hellscapes. Always fun. Alright, loading data, don't turn the power off. Uh, don't turn the power- do not! Um, you better not! <laughs> Okay, kind of spooky. Don't really know what anything is. Uh, ghoulish ghost faces just coming out of nothing. Love that. A bog, always fun. Look, there's gonna be platforming there for sure. Yeah, there's our hero. Okay, you can read the signs by pressing the action button. Cool. So yeah, we, we have a jump. That's fine. Oh, damn. I was expecting that. Okay, to jump, press jump. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so I can't really move the camera, which is kind of a problem. I mean, I can't move it like up or down right now. Just, just left and right. You're Cyprian, aren't you? Jesus Christ! That thing is awful. That thing looks like it like huffs farts for a living. Just as I thought that we were gonna be like playing a level. So I'm assuming we're just stuck in my own dream here, which just represents this kid's like fears and anxieties. Or, or we got transferred under the bed. And ask me to help you find the zip it. The, the zip it? We're just making up words, huh? You're telling me I can walk, run, and stand still? No shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just pressing the jump button once when I was forced to talk to you, sir. Okay, thanks for that. Uh, now I'm almost scared. So his voice when jumping, his little yelp, it sounds like an actual child doing that ver versus the adult that, that we listened to before. Uh, you can climb on vertical walls, pr uh, press on jump and choose a direction to free yourself for movement. It's a weird way to put that. Um, okay, so let's try to get that, whatever that is. I mean, this is a 3D platformer, right? So it stands to reason. Oh, this is an awkward thing to have to try to jump on. Ugh, I don't even know if I can make that. I'm gonna assume I can. Ugh. Yeah, it sucks. There's no like vertical camera movement. All right, what the hell is this? By collecting the bandages, you can pick up an energy. I guess that's supposed to be a G. It looks like an A. Uh, energy. By collecting bandages, you can pick up energy. Cool. It's like I still don't know if this is good or not. Like, let me know in the comments. Is 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 evil twin or whatever this is called? Is this well known? In the Dreamcast community? I'd be shocked. Either way, really. Huh? Huh? Yeah. These bonuses show you the right way to go. By collecting them, you can earn extra lives. Okay, so it's your coins, it's your rings, whatever. Huh? Huh? More bandages. 
Yeah, he sounds like a, like he sounds appropriate when he's when he does his little grunts of effort. I don't know what the hell they were doing with the 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 VO for cutscenes. Just pay the damn little kids to to voice it, okay? Don't take work away from them. They're trying their hardest. Can't believe I'm actually being pro kid here, but whatever. Oh yeah, no, I take damage. Cool, cool. It's noxious, toxic waters. Really do look like Chucky, if you kind of like unblur your eyes a tiny bit. I don't know how they got around that copyright. Okay, can't turn the camera here, but it's following me well enough, so have to assume it's gonna be fine. Oh, I barely made that. Oh, that was that was actually really tight. I press the shoot button to shoot. View this view for subjective view and again to go back to North subjective view. <laughs> Okay, so what do we have to know that right now? What do I need to shoot? Okay, this dude. Is that Lenny? Please, Please don't, don't tell, tell anyone, anyone how, how he lives. I live. Uh, every, each time you lose a life, you will start again from these limits. Go through them to activate them. Okay, well, yeah, I want to go through that. Please. I, did it activate? I'm not sure. I, I, don't, I don't know if it if it really did. Uh, lower the drawbridge by using your slingshot. Thank you. Okay, yeah, you did kind of really tell me that. Really? Really, you son of a bitch? Okay. So you don't like that. Let's let's back it up. Let's back it up. Okay, here. Come on now. It's gonna snap. Yeah. First try. So yeah, there's some dude that's like trapped somewhere. I don't know who he is. Uh, press the jump button action buttons when in the air to activate your jump attack. I actually didn't know that. Thank you. What the- <laughs> That's like a fighting game move now. I just do the rolling headbutt. Okay, wasn't expecting that. I was thinking of like, I don't know, butt stomp or some shit. Or the kid would fart. I don't know. This seems like a farting game. Wait, who is that? I can't even tell. It's like a soldier or something. It's like the dude from Final Fantasy IX. Steiner? It's Steiner. You, you know what they say about Steiner in, in Final Fantasy IX. There ain't nothing finer than a 69er. <laughs> So let's let's get him out of there. Nice. Oh wait, he's bad. He's bad. <laughs> oh okay. Fuck. He's like split in half. That's pretty cool, I guess. I'm just gonna keep doing this. And if he runs into it, it's his own fucking fault. He's rolling, poly, yoli. He's small and smart and round. This is the combat of, of Evil Twins, Cy Cyprian's Chronicles, or whatever. Okay, maybe I can, like, slingshot him. Maybe that's what it wants me to do. All right, that, that seemed to work better. Oh, you got split in two. Let's see. The little blue halos indicate the passages between the levels. Okay, so it's like a warp, I guess. Oh, uh, that's the drawbridge. Whatever, I guess we should just look at this. This is weird. Yeah, it, it does have Alice vibes, obviously. It's just so strange this is on the Dreamcast, of all things. Christ, well, go down, I guess. Uh, oh, do you not like that? Okay, let's just... Uh, oh. uh, the right and left cams are used to direct the camera. But, uh, press on both to put the camera behind you. I did not know that. Useful, actually. Love tips that are actually useful. See, now the camera's pulled out really uh, overhead, which helps with this a lot more than what we had before. These heads give you extra... Collect all the heads. I, I should not be surprised. I go over to wherever the hell I'm going <laughs> this direction. Nothing there. Well, let's maybe I'm gonna need to do this. Whoa! All right, cutscene time. Don't tell me you picked me because you thought I'm really some kind of a superhero. Oh, yes, a little. I'd have to transform myself. Is this gonna be like a Sentai game? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What are even these now? Oh, I'm filling. Am I filling up my super s sip meter? Super simp, whatever it's called. Pick up super sip bonuses to fill your gauge in the top right. Oh my god. Am I am I gonna go like beyond S Cyprian for the super jump? Press jump and action when you are in the air. Jump and action when you're already in the air. Oh, that's a weird timing that I have to do for that. But it is what it is, so I guess I'm gonna have to super jump into this volcano. <laughs> what was that? Someone just shouted at me. It was kind of scary, actually. A uh, view button for the death ray. A pretty lethal weapon. Yeah, usually the death ray would be considered a pretty lethal weapon. Maybe this is for when I turn super, but like I haven't done it yet. Uh, shoot button for the fireballs remain on the button to control their size. Damn it. It's really hyping me up for su super sip. Fuck off 
awful, awful character design. Like, I guess it's supposed to be, but it's to get out of my face. Okay, I'm still very nervous. Oh, 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 that was so close. Uh, to use your flap flap, let's jump in a good time. <laughs> you will then float in the air. I, I feel like Super Sip has not yet happened. Like it's giving me all these tutorials now, but is it is it gonna be happening now? Should I be pressing a button? Because I press like all the face buttons. I'm, I'm just kinda scratching my head here. Anyway, I get I guess I'm just gonna have to jump. He took damage from that. I hate this game. Cause I'm trying to do flap flap, it's not fucking working. Alright, yeah, I'm definitely missing something about Super Sip. Like there there must be like an activation point for it. There it is. Press jump and action, transform yourself to super sip to conversely change yourself back. That's the one I'm missing. Jump and action. Well, I'm, I'm assuming. And this is to go even further beyond. There you go. Oh my god. It's just a fucking edgelord, like, um, what's it called? Uh, but god, Vax. Or like Virgil or some shit. Oh my god, now I'm like the super badass. Oh my god, this is awesome. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, now I can float down. Okay, you know, you know, I said, I said Vex. I did not mean Vex. Who did I mean? Of course, I meant Silver. Of course, of course, I meant Silver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no use. No use. No use. Please die. Are you serious? Okay, good. Right, right. Hey, level complete. Hey. Okay, now I'm super sip. Can we get a good look at him? He looks kind of cool, actually. Like the Chucky human form is kind of like lame, but this, it kind of looks super, super sick, actually. Now it said I could control the size of fireballs. That's pretty sick. Ah, boo. Fuck, fuck. I'm in the dead pool here. It's all coming apart, folks. It's all coming apart. Maybe I stand on it? Ah. Yeah, I said Alice Madness Returns, but this is also a uh, very Coraline-esque too, you know? I don't think I'm off on that. Ugh. Okay, I'm all bandaged up. We're good. I assume this is Alchemist's Tower. I don't... If you're if you're out there, right, you're watching this and you're an Alchemist, I don't really trust you. I don't know. I don't know what you're up to half the time. It's... I'm nervous around Alchemists. <laughs> Whenever you meet a real-life Alchemist, you're like, eh... Hope you're int I'm sure your intentions are good, sir. Oh, hey. By the way, good news. Super Sip really does exist in your world. Don't ask me how come. I got no idea how. But I've got to accept the fact. <laughs> okay, so let's go speak to this famous alchemist. Okay, I was about to go right through this little... Yeah, it was right there. Just walk, walk like two steps. We could have just uh, not had that conversation, I guess. This fucked up place. This son of a bitch. Oh, get fucked, alchemy. Oh, let's go see this weirdo. Hey, you must be the alchemist. Oh! oh. How do you know that, young man? What well, is that? Might you be a two by any I don't understand that face. Well, heavens to Murkatroyd. I'm not gonna help a chucky-looking child like you get in there. I, I don't trust this alchemist now. I, I just f have a feeling they're gonna fuse together a little girl and like a dog. And that's no good for nobody. I don't know if they want to go to the village right now. There's too much going on. I think I'm gonna call it here on Evil Twin. This is kind of interesting, I guess. I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to really say. It's certainly something different on on the the cast of Dreams. Yeah, I. I, I don't honestly know if this is good or not. Like, what reviews did this get back in the day? Does anyone remember? No. Did anyone even play this? I'm assuming, again, big in Europe, right? I don't think this came out in, in North America. So, you know, that tracks with, with everything that was on the main menu. I would have liked to have played this in German. You can see me struggle even more than usual. Uh, but for now, we have a few more games left to go. Wow, entertainment. That's wow. That's uh, eh. so. This next one is alien, alien, alien thing. Alien front. Ah, that's me. That's me. Ah, alien front online. That's a whoa. Hey, playing this in a dark room. That's not great. Alien, stop. Let's press start button. Okay, so off the bat, um, big spawn, uh, heavy metal geometrics vibes. Sure, let's see what tactics are. 
So WoW Entertainment, I do know. Ooh, there's two campaigns. WoW Entertainment, I think they like made a bunch of cool things under Sega. Let's look at the army campaign. Army base behind the wheel. I'm getting like EDF vibes from this. Uh, welcome aboard, Private. You have been chosen as pilot of the big bad ton of affordable affordable uh, firepower. Use this mission to learn to control your tank and the aliens won't know what hit him. Who knows? You might even get a cute book deal out of this when you're done. I don't know why I said cute there. That's not the Who knows? The, your government might even take care of you once the campaign is over. Nah, probably not. Okay, tanks. Cool. We have the, the whatever, the M1... Uh, M109A6, just a bunch of numbers, just a password. The Abrams, I have heard of that. And Merkava, it has a smooth bore, whatever the fuck that means. Uh, I'll take this guy because he looks like he's the Cody of this final fight. Oh, 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 whoa, look at you. Did you see your little guy? Little, 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 little. It's the guy watching the tank. It's this cool little animated sprite. That's neat. My legit Dreamcast is making a bunch of music noise. Okay, it stopped. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, look at him move that booty. Oh, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Wait, I have to hit all 40 targets? Oh, wow. I'm impressed with the animation of the tank, though, rolling all over. It looks, it looks good. The problem with having to roll over 40 targets, which I'm not going to do, by the way. I'm going to quit this. That's because that's a lud ludicrous amount. Is it? I'm in a tank. Yeah, I'm like, I'm barely going to make this. Destroy! Destroy my superiors! My commanding officers, fuck them for making me do this m menial task. All right, what about alien campaign? Let's see what that looks like for it. It's probably like run over 40 targets. POW overrun. All right, that's something. This will live or die based on that. Welcome to the elite tri triclopsian guard. You have been grown in the slime womb specifically to help us destroy our human enemy. As a member of our invading force, you must learn to pilot our triclopian vehicles. These ground contraptions are a bit different from the spaceships we are all used to. Use this mission to develop your driving skills. We have provided some interesting ground targets for you to run over. All right, this is going to be the same thing. Oh, cool. A walker. He's a heavy. He's the medium. Plasma laser. Uh, and then hovercraft. This is neat. And oh, look at these dudes back here. Constantly sucking invisible things. Cucumbers, perhaps. Love that for them. Oh, I'll take the medium. Oh, no, you know what? Let's, let's take the heavy one. Oh, this is... Okay, aliens, of course, way cool. All right, so this is the exact same thing. A oh, neat little laser shot. And it's basically a tank, right? Oh, look at all the little uh, acid bubbles coming up. This, this is so much cooler than being a tank, though, I have to say. Can you, like, go faster, though, is what I'm wondering? So it does that. Y does nothing. B does nothing. A shoots. So the controls are very simple. So... It's not already, like, immediately apparent this absolutely was an arcade game that I've personally never seen, ever. So that's fine. Uh, we, we were kind of used to the controls. There, there's not much to them, but I'm not collecting fucking 40 objects for uh, for a YouTube video. <laughs> so let's see what arcade is. And then like, online, just like uh, a lot of others. Spawn didn't have online, I don't think, though, right? I don't think it did. I think it just had local. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I might do the army later, but they're pretty lame compared to the aliens. We need to stop Earth. We just do. You need to be stopped! Meh, 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 meh. Uh, I might take him in a bit. He's the light one, but medium probably can take more damage. All right, capture the Earthing city. Our forces landed in Tokyo, destroy its tanks to defeat its defenders. Whoa, cool. Oh my god, look at that explosion. Looks sick. Oh, wait. Tank right behind me. Tank right behind me. Yeah, yeah, this is arcadey as shit, but I like it. Now, do I get more weapons than this, or do I always have this standard shot? 13 enemies left. Oh, oh my god, there's trains running and crap? That's cool. Oh, wait, I do have another weapon. Oh, yeah, there's another guy. I'm not sure what that weapon did, but it's fine. Oh, he's running, he's running scared. Three kills, time extended. Is there any more arcadey thing in the world than time extended? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay. Well, that's fine. I was going to die eventually. Nope. He's probably trying to get to my base, my, my flesh wounds. Oh my god, Sonic's here. We have to defend Sonic from the aliens. We must. Whoa, what the shit? What's happening? Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, die. 
Yeah, time extended. See, I, 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 I would want to switch over to the hovercraft when I can just to see how that controls. Can I hurt my teammates? That's what I'm not sure about. Oh, I'll get the help before he kills me. Damn it. They killed you. 10 to 5, though. We're doing all right. We're doing all right. Oh, my God. Dynamite cop. Like this. We're just in Sega land. Uh, yeah. Cloak spore. Oh, it turns me invisible. Or like partially invisible. Oh, didn't, didn't really help that much. We have to pr pr protect Sega Saturn Town. Uh, cream cast. <laughs> all of that shit. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Aliens win. We're the best. And got the humans running scared. Good, good. They should be scared. You're gonna have to make way for our, us, our, your new insect overlords. I think we're insects. Complete the infestation. The army is counterattacking, destroy its tanks. Okay, so the same. Ew! Awesome. They went ham. Oh, look, we have little guys. Cute. They went ham on the alien design stuff. Cause like they could go for like a B movie and this isn't quite that. This is more like, I don't know, like a, a 50s B movie style uh, design for the aliens. But no, it's a bit more contemporary. I'd say there's a little bit of um, aliens from um, uh, Independence Day kind of thrown in there a little bit. Yeah, those are humans. Get rid of them. Oh, those little sprites. Amazing. So the one thing, I, if I can complain about, oh my god, oh my god, am I in a nuke zone? The, the one thing is that that sound of when you're low on health, that that machine whir, that's pretty annoying. I mean, most sounds like that in games are annoying. Oh my god, they fucking bought my shit there. Oh, they were trying to wreck our shit! No! Uh, 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 Cyclops blast. Oh, it was like a Kamehameha! All my ships are coming down, that's fun. Subjugate the earth. The army is attacking, the army has found our stronghold, destroy fi Okay, so it's, th that's, that's already leading to a little repetitiveness. It's nice to see all these different stages, but it's just always destroy. I'd like to protect as well, or, or like get an item in the enemy's camp type thing. I'm just always cloak sporing, you can never stop. I'm like ghost riding the whip with this cloak spore. <laughs> No! Uh, I just, hey, well, at least my assassin got what was coming to him. This is just the most video game ass video game I've played in a while, which is a good thing. Okay, our forces landing in Tokyo, destroy. We've already done this. It's nice that you put me right in front of the dynamite cop. I appreciate that, but why don't we quit out here and just switch over the army just, just to see? That's a generic ass soldier man if I've ever seen one. He's like from Army Men. Army, look at that. Look at this video game. Did you see it? Look at it. Uh, we found an alien stronghold. Destroy 14 alien vehicles. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little bit faster. The animation is super impressive. At least we're starting off in a different stage. Oh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I haven't killed a single alien. <laughs> oh my god. No, this was bad what I chose. This is very not the best. Okay, kill one. That's something. The hovercraft is weak. Oh, no. They're winning. They're winning. Aliens are just too strong. Their sexual aura is like no one can concentrate. They got the, they got the slime wombs. How are you supposed to compete with that? Oh, my God. It's way harder as at least the, the weak tank. Oh, sorry, boys. Casualties of war. You understand. Yeah. All right. We're doing it. We're bringing it back. We're bringing it back. No, I'm sorry! So it is cool that like the power-ups change for- it's not generic power-ups that affect both uh, both forces, like they're unique to each uh, side of the army. I kind of thought it'd be like every- yeah, army wins. Man, it sure turned against the aliens real quick. Well, it was a good job. We almost lost, but through the um, united force of, of humans, and how humans always strive to, to, you know, band together, for a common enemy, we totally we don't do that at all. Not even for aliens, we're not going to do that. We can't be concerned about aliens when we all have rent and mortgages to pay. But that is Alien Front. Uh, I think we've. I think that's pretty much everything the game can sort of offer. Um, you know, kind of like the Dreamcast itself. There's a bunch of games, the arcade ports like this, where they added in online and like one extra mode, and that's kind of it. So, but this would be a, a pretty decent rental, I think. But it would get old uh, fairly quickly, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments on this one. If there's any other games like this on the Dreamcast that I might have missed, we still have a few more. No, go away. We go. We go away. Stop. 
We still have a few more to go, so let's get to them. Oh, take two interactive. You know, you know, you're in for a good time. You know, the spare no expense. This is Aqua GT, uh, which looks a lot like um, other other racing games, boat boat based racing games. I've never heard of this one, um, of, of course, because that's that's the point of the video. Step into the brand to a Dragon Ball GT. Ooh, that's a loading screen. That's excitement right there. Is that the best picture you could have used? <laughs> There's a, there's a couple of red flags here off the bat here, folks. All right, we're saving Aqua GT data direct into my VMU. That is that is a main menu there, folks. These are all good things that we're seeing right now. Rocket, Aqua Blade, that's a cool name. I might just go with that. You call it your boat a cool thing? I'll most likely take it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very basic that way. So right, so we're in the River Thames. I'm pronouncing it that way because that's how it's spelt. I'm pretty sure I know better than you, all of the UK. I do this every time. I don't know why. It's just, no one's mad about it, I don't think. But it was deep into the River Thames. River Thames Ghetto. Three, go, go, go. So off the bat, this has a nice look to it. It looks a little bit more PlayStation-like than Dreamcast-like though, huh? Something about the water, the textures. Oh, uh, like water physics seem okay. Uh, maybe it's like one of those things like F-Zero where after the first lap, um, I get, I get boost power maybe, or no, I don't think there's any weapons in this, like, uh, like, uh, wipeout weapons. This is the track, huh? The River Thames re really pulling out all the stops here. A lot, lot, lot of excitement. I'm on a boat! So, that was the first lap. Now we get boost power, right? Nope. Pressing the buttons. Starting to see why maybe no one talks about Aqua GT. Like, it's one thing if there was like, I don't know, 40 racers on the screen, that'd be something. That'd be like technically very impressive. But this is like, there, there's only six boats. Uh, I don't know, folks. It's, it's very early on in, the, in this video game that I'm currently playing. But, and did we all just lose? I didn't even make it. None of us finished. Well, if you don't give us boost power, how are we supposed to be fast enough to even get across? Oh my god, okay. Maybe I just need to play better. I don't think I did terribly, but I guess I did. Maybe, maybe Rocket or something. Warlord Stinger. Yeah, that's the standard boat. Maybe, maybe that'll help. Three, two, one. Go, go! Uh, Alright, no, it's, it's gonna be fine this time. I like my boat. This is a nice boat design. And I have not one. Not one and a half, but two motors. How could I lose? All these other losers only have t one motor. Like, get on my fucking level. But yeah, is this this is a very similar track to the last one. It's just we're in we're in canals and that's it. Damn, I fucking love the shit out of Arctic Thunder. I like it almost as oh that was that, I that I almost thought there was gonna be a fun deviation in the track. No, 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 that's just locked off. Don't worry about that. This is gonna be one of those things where like, Matt, there's totally combat and, and boost power in this game. You just didn't explore all the buttons. And I'm like, I am, I am, trust me, I am. Oh my God, are we all not gonna finish the race again? Am I missing checkpoints? No, none of us finished. Even Megan, who is first and apparently the best, she can't even do it. All right, one more race. Back, back to my old stomping grounds of the River Thames. I'm Maddie Fa. Three, two, one. So this was Aqua GT. Um, this is what it should be, uh, honestly. Uh, the, you know, the, this is basically a souped up N64 port of Hydro Thunder that they released on the Dreamcast. This should look a lot better, but it is what it is. And it's a thousand times better. Look how much more exciting this is compared to Aqua. Thank you for the boost. And thank you, Aqua GT, for your very, very brief stay. I hope this game is a success. I really do. So this is Rainbow Cotton. The, the name is somewhat familiar. It's, it's, and again, it must be a real big success because it says success twice on the screen. You know, I, I promise nothing if not variety here on these. I've never played this. Queen Velvet, emergency. Queen Velvet. Oh, look at all these anime babes. Ah, how fragrant. Your, your, your highness, emergency! 
Wow, monsters are coming to Lasha Castle. Oh dear. I'm just enjoying my tea. See, that's why you can't trust tea drinkers. They're, they never live in the moment. There's an emergency happening, but no, it's all about my tea. Everyone, we have a problem. I'm out of tea. Monsters bring war to Lasha, Lasha Castle's doorstep. We gotta kill them all. Kill them all, just like our masters Metallica said. I'm worried about the nearby towns that produce the world's willow candy. Sorry, we're protecting candy? Darkness is sure to fall upon us. Imprisoning me, all that I see. Absolute horror. So, what shall we do about this? Like I said, kill them all. This is bad, sis, One-chan. Yeah, but what should we do? I'm afraid we're out of our depth. Let's ask Cotton. No, I'm not even sure she's aware of the town's willows. But if she comes here... So we're scared of Cotton? What are those things? Oh, okay. Paid with willows! The willows are all mine! Ah, 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 ah! Very caring Kenzuki, or many. It's better than letting the monsters tear us apart, right? Is it though? I don't even know where the hero of the, the game is. I know, let's lure her out and catch her. They're all set. Are we all set? Willow. I'm assuming our main character is an idiot, so they will fall for this. The age old bucket and stick trap. There's no better trap than this. It Traps were perfected. I thought we were going to a commercial break there. See, I told you. <laughs> All right, that was pretty good. What in the... It was a very large bucket. But I'm assuming we're all fairy-sized. Could it be? She just fart? Oh, no, she's big. Well, go, man. We just had something interesting to tell you. <laughs> something interesting? Really? You see, you may not know this yet. Here's the instruction manual for this game. But the surrounding towns are for celebrating the Willow Festival. You can eat lots of willows for free. Oh, uh, here I go. We're blasting off again. Will the, will the game start? Are we, are we, I, we're, we could watch more anime together, right? That's fine. Welcome, not yet, we're gonna watch more. So this is the town where the legendary Willow is. I wanna pinch that candy so much and, and, and. Something doesn't feel right, nobody's around. This is bad, if she goes to Lasha Castle first, the monsters around here will run amok. Just tell her to beat monsters. Lots of specialty Willows. These, these must be the greatest candies ever. If we're going this nutso over them, right? Oh shit! Yo, this looks awesome! Oh! Oh, damn! I was not expecting... I thought it was like a 2D, uh, like, shmup. Am I shooting right now? I feel like I am. Yeah, there's little shots. It's just, it's just that since I'm right in front of the cursor, it's kind of hard to see. I, am I killing all these happy little gumdrop guys? Maybe. We can only hope. Actually, not sure how to play this. I feel like there's mechanics that are not being explained. And I can't really see stuff that's directly in front of me. Just kind of a problem. Get good scrub. I, I get how it's like a cutesy fun thing, but at the same time, I'd like my shots to have a little more oomph. And these things are weird. I'm not entirely comfortable with them. But still though, this looks just very, very charming. Just with the with the overall visuals and aesthetic. Like I've definitely never seen even a screenshot of this before. And I can obviously see why this was never brought over to the West. But at the same time, they should have brought this over. It's very cute. There's like a death train. Oh, let's avoid that actually. Oh, that's bad. That's not what it wanted. That's fair. Oh, Jesus. Okay, a bunch of Clefairies. Okay, I can send the little fairy for like an additional attack, I think. Or does she do it by herself? I'm not really sure. How am I supposed to control, control one of these? They kind of have a mind of their own. I'm, I'm in fact being manipulated by them as we speak. Alright, so I can... This does seem to be taking damage. I don't know why it's carrying so many eyeballs. I'm not sure if Cotton here really knows what they, they signed up for. I feel like they're being brought into a war that they have no stake in. Like, I get how Willows or whatever are on the line, and don't get me wrong, they're a great character in Buffy. That's what we're fighting for, right? Die! This is the toughest train ever. Oh my god. And now they're just tossing shit at me? Like, yeah, it really, it's hard to see stuff coming at you. That's my only real complaint. I get how this is probably a really easy game, so it's like, whatever, take the hits, but at the same time... Oh, so fuck the train. We don't care about that. Ow! I hate these things. 
Like, everything is super cute. Like, nothing's really a threat. R like, th are these the monsters that are attacking? Like, I get how we don't have all the information on, on the war between the monsters and the fairies, but, like... I'm sorry, I'm kind of on the monster side right now. Like, the opening illustrations kind of made it look like the monsters are like, yeah, monsters. But maybe the fairies are the real monsters. Maybe they have, like, a totalitarian government. Oh, what's happening? Are we a boss? Oh, she's satiated by the bloodlust. He's cute, leave him alone! Can't get enough of these candies, just one more to go. Until what? The will Ah, no, stop him! If you want the candy. Oh. Oh, here I go! It happens every time. They all become blueberries. Bum, 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 bum. Got massive. How dare you eat my willows? Unforgivable. Okay, is this actually the boss? Gebo, Gebo! Oh, that's one big bitch, baby. Oh, it's still, he's still cute, though. I don't want to really kill him, but he has to die, I guess, because he ate my willows. When he's kind of, like, all over the place, it's kind of easier to visualize his shots, I guess. But yeah, he's like doing the same- OH MY GOD, MEGATON PUNCH! OH SHIT! He was just doing- he like- he likes the candies too. Why can't we just be friends? Oh, That's super scary. The threat. You have to respect it. I don't know what's he doing. OH SHIT! Alright, he's got- he's, he's- he's a real fighter. He's no pushover. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hot stuff, hot stuff. Okay, he's so dark red. How much damage could he possibly take? Got him! Oh, you're dead as shit. I'm sorry though. We could have been brothers. What's all this shit? Is this bonus round? Is this good? What are we doing? Are we hitting these? Do we want to hit these? What are we doing? We we want to hit these. What are we? Okay, sure. I'm not from this country, so I don't know what any of that meant. I don't like this like pro t propaganda. All right, get back to my animes. There are no more left. Cotton, let's try the next town. You'll get paid when we get there. Thank you for saving our town. We are running out of time. There's not much I can give you in return, but here's a stamp rally card. If you collect a stamp from all four towns, you can enter Lasha Castle. I feel bad for this pro, pro tag. Are they gonna be manipulated the entire game? All right, Cloud City. Sumumumumu. Uh, Honestly, I, I think I might be good here for Rainbow Cotton. Pretty charming, but and, and the visuals are actually really attractive. At the same time, I wish this shooting was a little bit tighter. I, I, I don't know what the, the real solution is here, but there's not a lot of good feedback when you're actually killing enemies. Maybe that's the point? We're just destroying this, these life forms and they're not even the bad guys. Think about that. I'm just murdering everything in front of me for candy. Anyway, with this depressing <laughs> game, in our rear view, we still have a few more to go, so let's do it. Blue Sphere, a Blue Sphere, a Blue Sphere production. So this is Taxi 2. Anyone in Europe who lives in Europe knows the Taxi franchise. Taxi. Two. They made a remake, an American remake of this with uh, Queen Latifah. And that guy that's not funny. What's his name? Jimmy Fallon. So yeah, that that was a bomb. I had to like watch this one or the one previous, the first Taxi, uh, years and years ago, like 10 years ago plus. It was at like a, a, a friend's house, just an old girlfriend, I forget. And uh, just everyone was like laughing their asses off. They like love this. And I was like, yeah, it's okay. I guess you have to like really be into like French comedy, like from France. It's a very specific thing, I think. I had no idea they made a game of it. And I, doubly on top of that, I had no idea they made a game of it on the Dreamcast. Oh, mission mode, settings, credits. Very simple. I don't know why arcade mode is locked. That's sort of weird. Let's confirm mission mode. The pregnant lady, <laughs> the VAR rally, police station, a date with Petra. Breakfast at Lily's, at your command, the Japanese, Gilbert's ER visit, the car chase, kidnapping of Petra. Uh, uh, what happened after your date with Petra? You got kidnapped, Paris, and rescuing the president. So I guess this might be based on the second movie. I'm, I'm just assuming. These seem like scenarios plucked from there. J'écoute. 
Jakut. Je suis pas accoucheur, moi. I'm not a gynecologist. He has this checked out super taxi, I guess. And we just saw this stuff. Let's give it. You get a cell phone call. Pregnant woman's about to give birth. Get down quickly and pick her up at her home. Use the arrows to guide your route. So, does that seem familiar to anybody? Oh, Jesus. This is not what I thought. I want, I, I want the full view of the taxi, baby. Wait, what? Three, two, one. It's over. Hello? Ah. Votre taxi est arrivé? Bon, bah, tant pis. What? <laughs> Sorry, where was she? Did I miss her? Like, I was looking for, like, a crazy taxi style thing, like a big indicator. Get down to town quickly to pick her up at her home. Okay, use the arrows to guide your route. So, why did you only give me five seconds to do it? Okay, oh, we're going, we're going. I don't know how fast you want me to go. All right, I needed to go by an invisible checkpoint. We're taxiing. We're doing it. I can't believe Ubisoft made a game based on this. Like, it's essentially a comedy series with, like, high-speed chases and stuff. And, like, slapstick comedy. I am very interested to see that skybox or that city box. That looks like it will be quite nice and not super blurry. We're, we're getting into town. I'm assuming once I get to town, it'll just auto-pick her up. Like, this isn't, like an open world thing. It's generous to call uh, crazy taxi games open world, but eh, they kind of were, right? Whoops, sorry about that. Uh, uh, this way? These are very narrow hallways, France. Alleyways, I want to say. Uh, big, big right, big right. Whoops. Wh wait, which way you want me to go? Which way? Mauvais direction, là! Mauvais direction! Why is that part in French? Okay, this, this way. Y yeah, no. I don't know if that was correct to do. If it's not guiding me, then I'm assuming I'm going in the right direction, you know? Like it only guides me when I'm going off, off the, the track. This is fine. This, I, I have to help in the birth of this baby. I'm integral to it. Yeah, I guess the mom is like doing her part or whatever, but really it's all about the taxi driver. He's got a lot of responsibility on his shoulders. Sticking to the left again? Uh-oh, running out of time, oh. Ugh. All this way, all this way, and I'm gonna run out of time. Wow, all right. Uh, all right. Oh, oh no, 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 pregnant lady, pregnant lady. So I really feel like we could have saved a lot of time if we went forward in time a little bit after this game's creation, or the movie rather, I should say. We could have got an exhibit to, to pimp out our ride with like a whole emergency section in the back of our car so we can like give birth while while driving. We can help out, we have a whole uh, like team of ER doctors in there. Why not? Like, who wouldn't want to have a high-speed chase while giving birth? I'd love it! Slow down! The first stage of labor can take hours! Yeah, so get them in town traffic! Lady, where do you live? Like, you don't even live in France. Do you live in England? Is that how far I need to go? Okay, I'm going- I'm going this way. I'm trusting you. Oh, was that- that- was that wrong? Did I die? Did I find her? Did I win? Hello? Uh. <sighs> Starting to see why no one really talks about this game. Where the fuck is this lady's house? Is this is the war? Okay, it's here. It's here. It's here. No, no, is it? Where is it? Where's your house? Is it here? Why do you live here? Did I win? Please do. Oh, did I actually won? I actually won the baby. Bravo! Well, yeah, I don't have to bring her to the hospital? Yeah, I guess she gave birth in the back of my cab. I don't even want to admit how many tries it took me to do that, people. All right, well, what's gonna happen now? Then we can finally see the conclusion. All right, let's get to the hospital. The baby's not going away. I don't want him to mess up my seats. Luckily, I know a shortcut. Do I? Because I don't. Maybe he does. Take the pregnant lady and her husband to the hospital as soon as possible. Luckily, you know a good shortcut. Go through the VAR rally. You're competing against a string of opponent we want to fight rivals that doesn't seem cool all right we'll give this one more check because um wh what the shit why is this like mad max move into the next zone all right, 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 right. oh i just barely made that shit this is a high stakes world of taxi cab driving i mean they lost to to uber for sure like super lost why am I fighting against rally opponents? Do they have all pregnant ladies in the back? 
Oh, Jesus, what am I on? The world is, like, barely loading in. I'm on, like, the thinnest uh, piece of mountain terrain I've ever seen. Oh, my God, which way? Which way? What are you, where are you directing me? This way? Okay. And, like, this is the shortcut through the rally. Like, <laughs> is the hospital, like, underwater? <laughs> where, are we, where are we going? <laughs> the hospital on top of the mountain? Oh, my God. But, no, nah, no, nah, he's the taxi driver. He, kn he knows all the shortcuts. Like we've come so far into this baby's life. I don't. Oh shit! I didn't. That came up way too late. Yeah, yeah. I know. Mauvais direction. Oh, wait. What you actually? Wa it's not destroyed. You're driving in the picture. All right. No. Fuck that baby. Uh. So it doesn't get born. The end. That is taxi two. Let's taxi over to our next game. So I saw this logo, and I was like, Yeah, I'll, I'll play whatever this is. And this is Frame Gride, not not Grid. That'd be too normal, uh, since this is a FromSoft game. They had to they had to FromSoft all over it, so it's Frame Gride. Uh, this comes way via an English patch, which is always good. I think when you reach a level that From Software has, like everyone will go back and what did they not release in English? So Mecca, kind of appropriate since uh, Flames of Rubicon are, is coming out, or might have already been out by the time you see this video. Not sure. Pretty hype, off the bat, not gonna lie. And there's like a medieval uh, aesthetic to these Mecca, obviously. Or like mystic at very least. Like there's, there's magic and technology going on here at the same time. And this, I'm assuming, is going to be in the weirder era of FromSoft, because because Miyazaki hadn't yet joined. Maybe not as polished as, as we're used to. So yeah, you thought I was kidding, but no, frame grind right there. You, you can't deny it. Anyway, new game, continue versus net game and internet. Ooh, stay away from that one, kids. Not really actually sure what type of game this is. I think in, in Ancient Empire, the Emperor Kurt <laughs> shows seven Imperial candidates from the Seven Kingdoms. Th thank you for giving me enough time to read this. I appreciate it. Most games don't. In the year 700, when the Emperor Regilio was dying, one of the seven candidates, Zolt, raised a rebellion against the whole empire. These are normal names for such a fantasy universe. Not Kurt. Zolt joined forces with the nine fallen knights. and How many knights are there? Defeated the other five imperial candidates. Only Melange survive. Melange, Zolt, and Kurt. I bestow upon thee the honorable title of the Knight of the Realm. Sh sure, you're not explaining what any of this really means, though. There are seven banished knights, seven nine candidates. Ooh, finally, okay. Oh, wait, it's like a dungeon crawling thing. Let's write your fate. You must choose with the wisdom the parts of your squire. Am I like Frankensteining my own squire? What's happening? It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! Oh, neat. Oh, this is very from soft, like late nineties from soft. Yeah, choose <laughs> sword collar, bolt head, and night mask. Uh, night mask. It sounds cool. Am I creating my character here? Maybe. Uh, choose the core. Thin armor, grand guard, petal plate, grand guard. Maybe it's pieces from this image. Choose the arms, main, aeon arm, and wing wing coat. I don't know, main? That's fine. Maybe you need the instruction manual for this bit. Okay, choose the legs. Sword thin, far cross, brick spur. I want some fat ass legs, I want brick spur. Choose the dick. Choose a sword and shield, see, all right. And swear and M blood, R Mason, F leaf, Valmon and Lutheran. Hmm. I mean, and and Swera and Emblood sound the coolest. So that's that's all I can go by. Like all these guys are cool. Choose the guns: <laughs> Sky and Flame Bird, S Strike and Charger, Destroyer and E Song. Uh, Destroyer and E Song, I suppose. And you call the my gun the Destroyer. I'm assuming it's gonna do just that. Write your birthday. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, the day, all right, uh, I'll do my actual birthday, why not? Okay, day, yeah, that's fine. What is my, but is my birthday is because what, if my birthday is, uh, happens on the Dreamcast Eternal Clock, I'm gonna get, like, a special surprise. A new legend is being born on this land. Your name will be written in our book. Oh, yeah, it sure will. That's my, look at my bastard. Knight and squire, oh my god. English, yes, please. But my knight is my squire? Who, who am I? 
Anyway, we'll just go Matty Fatty. I'll call the night Matty and the Squire will be Fatty. That makes sense, right? That's good. Everyone's happy with that. That's our book. Now, a new knight was born. We wish you good luck in the battles. <laughs> okay. What are we fighting about again? Uh, you're probably training. Because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Okay. Ooh, hey. We're like a virtual on. Sword hits. Cool. Yeah. All right, strafe. Jump. Not bad. Not bad. It seems to be all control with the D-pad, though. Wait, what's this? Oh, wait, when you're, like, close range, you don't take the gun out. You just do a strike. That's kind of cool. So what about jump and sword hit? Oh, that's not optimal. I'm assuming, like, when I get better or, like, weapons and stuff, I'll get more options. All right. My mech looks cool. I will say that. Destroyer and Swera. And Swera was the uh, thing, the gun. I wish I could, like, switch that out now, but I guess I have to earn that. Color, I would... The color is a little drab. Can I get like wolf pack colors? Don't turn your back. Like at least red or something. Yo, that was instantly a lot better. Yeah, okay, no, I'm fine with that. Anyway, let's battle. Let's see how this goes. The fossil desert, sure. Gordova, the dawn knight. Got a cool presentation there with the spinning cards. We'll see how this goes practically in a battle. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, as a starting thing, it seemed fine. Wait, what, do I have to press something? Is this loading? What's happening? Okay. As a starting thing, it seemed fine, but it also didn't seem all that great either. Did I hit him at all? No, I've done some damage. Come back here. Uh. Why are we fighting, dude? Why are we fighting? We're just fighting because the rich people told us to fight. We don't even need to do this. Okay, what's that over there? I should get that just in case, uh, if that's important. I don't know. It's an extra... Oh! No, it's a mine! It's bad that I did this! <laughs> I thought it was a power... Wait, he's got, like, helpers? Unfair, but okay. So, yeah, I, I didn't expect this to be, like, super high speed and super smooth. Uh, this does feel a little bit clunky, but hey, it's early era from Soft, you know? It's kind of the charm. Oh, I'm doing shit! Press two buttons together, that's how that happened! Don't- I don't like that he gets helpers. How is that fair for the tournament of the- the candidates of the last hope or whatever super vague lore we're talking about today. Like, is there is there a lock on button and I'm kind of missing it? It just seems to go automatically when I get close. There you go. Win. That at all wasn't wasn't clunky. You know, you, you play something like uh God, Power Stone, which plays so like fluid and there's no problems at all attacking the characters that you want to attack and, and doing the things you want. So when you go back to something that's obviously trying to be a bit more ambitious with all of its uh, systems and attacks and stuff and you know it's 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 just a little bit clunky like even most virtual on games from my memory play a little bit better than this so far fallen bridge the orchid knight ah this is calming he's doing shit and since we've no place to go let it snow let it snow let it snow Oh, at least I figured that out. Oh, he's got the same thing. He's like me, but better. Oh, he's, I, I'm already, I've already taken some damage. Didn't even see that I did. Oh, very neck and neck here. I see he also has another meter under his life bar. That might be this little ad or something. Oh, I'm low on, on that. Maybe I should just get rid of this thing. If I fucking can, go away. Oh God. I really wish I hadn't picked this gun, but how was I to know? Come here, dude. Just just stop running. Just just whack me with shit. And I'll whack you back. This is this relationship. No, stop! And like the king that like entrusted me to be like the last knight of the holy hope, he's like, Ugh, this is the guy that we battled about the whole farm on. This is uh this is not optimal. Uh, oh shit! Oh, it's super close down to the wire. Oh fuck! You win! Yeah, perfect, flawless victory. Oh, I picked up weird jewels. I don't know what that is. Maybe that was gear. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. X neat. Oh, this is the shit I picked up. Don't. Yes, I've combined. Oh, it has evolved into done. <laughs> What? What'd I get? Done? Are you sure? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna get any more interesting with frame grind here. Uh, even even done in English is still 
not quite coming to grips with it, but still neat to play a From Software game I never heard about before. The name did kind of ring familiar, but like I think I might be just thinking of Frame Grid. But let me know what you thought about in the comments on this one. Maybe there's a few other From Software games from back in the day uh, you'd like to see me struggle through because this is a this is a bit of a struggle, but still solid enough. All right, we are going in next with something called Hellgate. <laughs> It's not great. That's not a great opening logo. Sorrowful. Pain. Race. Hope. Through me one enters the sorrowful city. Through me one enters into eternal pain. Through me... It's a painful, ugly world! You can now go directly to Georgia Kelly for a news update. What is this? Hell God. This has to be Europe only, huh? Is this like a twisted metal? Has to be, right? Hellgate. For the whole family, enjoy in your Dreamcast. Okay, game started. Deathmatch and time trial does really make me think it's like a twisted metal thing, but that's fine. You know, any Dreamcast game where it's like I've never actually heard of, like it's precious. So we'll we'll go through the layer of hell is vast and cavernous. A huge network of tunnels leading to many underground shrines and temples, which provide demons which dwell within their evil power. Whew! Is able to do it. <laughs> Asterisk will not be pleased that you have made it this far. What, what is this? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, this is the camera angle I want. Sorry, everyone, trying to get used to the controls here. Uh, trigger to go. Is this, what is this? It's some type of, like, adventure action game, but you drive a vehicle. A hell vehicle. And you go to the hell gate. <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't expect that to work. Holy... Just, I... Like, even aside from this being a Dreamcast game I've never heard of, I've never heard of this genre. What is... What would you categorize this as? Vehicle-based... Because I thought first per... Uh, the first person, sure. I thought, like, uh, vehicular combat, but no. I don't think what someone just spat at me. The disrespect. I have passed away from this disrespect. Can we go here through this texture? <laughs> Stop. Stop disrespecting me. Oh, I got your story now. I see. As long as you're in your car, you're big and you're bad. You're a chicken shit. Scum of the earth. Son of a bitch. Please. I can't take it. I'll cry if you spit at me again. That's so, that's I, the, the nice thing about that sound effect is that it's not annoying at all. Okay, you know what, I'm, you know what this is? This is Shadow Man, but I'm in a vehicle. That's what it is. Like, there's no one ever, 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 ever that's played this or has heard of this. I'm convinced. If you're like, oh, I'm from, like, whatever European country and I played this. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I don't, I don't believe you. And unfortunately, there's no way you could possibly prove it. Uh, oh. Oh, Ma Max Rockets. Max Rockets, he has the name you love to touch. You may have made it through my city. Oh. So, my offers of demonhood have struck a chord. Sure have. Join us. Yeah, sure. Titty lady. Oh, no, don't do that. <gasps> Grateful mortal. Uh, do I have to like go now? Now, now it's racing. I have no idea what's happening. I feel like this is based on a property and we don't know any of the backstory. Am I, I'm just taking damage from what? I don't know. Just general evil. This is very hard to control. I'm not sure if it's coming across, but believe me, it is. I, I think my character is too fast. I feel like this game is constantly about to crash. <laughs> There's something about it. I, it's like barely programmed. Oh, am I safe? You have a fighter's spirit. This level mocks all religion and it's painful <laughs> for me to look upon. She will only try to poison your mind by sowing doubt. Stock screaming sound effects, love it. And it was, it did seem like I needed to kill all the enemies for like something to happen, I think. I mean, it's unique, I'll give it that. Oh, but I don't think it's better than if I was just like, uh, an edgelord guy. God, this is so weird. Yeah, yeah, okay, this is, this is progress. Oh, no, I want to go over there. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. I have to, like, feather the button. I have to be, like, super, super careful. I just wish I could be a dude. I wish we could be playing Need for Speed The Run, which I haven't actually ever played. I was intrigued by it, though. Ah, fuck it. Yeah, that's right. 
No fall damage. Love that for myself. Again, it's like your your mobility is kind of hindered by this super powerful vehicle. <laughs> Which is weird to say. Is this something? Is this anything? Oh, maybe. This is new, I think. I just g kill them all. And you know what? I don't even need to. Do, it, do I have to kill every single enemy? It's not needed. Oh, although it might be totally needed. I'm not sure. This game is very mysterious, so. Okay, that's, that, this is nothing. Oh, no, wait, wait, it was, it was, it was, fuck. Whenever I hear that eagle sound, I just think freedom every time it, it cries out. Or like bro force. Yeah, that's what makes me think of it. It's very bro force-y. Still haven't played that new crazy update that came out. Fuck! It's very scary. Oh, but it'll at least be attached to the wall. That's good. No, 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 fucker! <laughs> See, if I was controlling a dude, that wouldn't have been such a problem. Well, I mean, I'm controlling him, so it still would have been maybe kind of a problem. Oh, it's really, it's really not good up the hills. They keep slipping and sliding all over. No! <laughs> oh my god. That was, I, don't, I can't even describe how devastating that was. <laughs> yeah, I made it. Uh, what do I do? Is this anything? No. No? This isn't anything. It's nothing what this is. I jumped up all the way here. Uh... No, come on. Oh, it's even more nothing. Like, there's, like, barely any collision. Amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I came up here. You, you too. Oh, I blew it up! No, that did work! S shit's happening! Uh, sure, yeah, I'm coming back to this. Uh, and watch it like that just suddenly killed me. Imagine, imagine, imagine. Ugh. We're back to this shit again? Uh, that, no, no, no. I, now I'm going backwards, I think. Oh, wait, no, this is what the guy showed me. This is what- no, no! Ooh. Yeah, just slow and steady. Wins the hell gate. Oh, imagine if I fall here. No, video over. <laughs> I can tell you that for free. Oh, open up, you son of a bitch. I came all this way. Open up, open up! No, fuck it. Uh... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Ah! Bam! So yeah, this is Hellgate. It's, uh... Let's move on to the next game. <laughs> Alrighty, this is another presented by Sega, as it should. We This is a Dreamcast-only video. Uh, this is, I think, Out Trigger. I, I kind of felt, before starting this video, that I kind of knew the Dreamcast library. Oh, I just... Trigger. Out trigger. Out trigger. Like, I'm assuming this is some kind of, um, not shmup. God, why, why can't I say it? Some kind of light gun shooter. I like this intro, though. Like, this is a confidential mission semi sequel that I don't know about. Because Out Trigger, it just, it just does not trigger ah, any memories in my mind at all. I, like, I've never seen this on the shelf of, like, uh, any game store or in the bins of, of any conventions. Like, sometimes Dreamcast games, they don't have the most representation in those those places, obviously. But this is an AM2, like, thing, so I'm I'm just kind of shocked. Like, these characters, they mean nothing to me. Who are you people? They seem fine, though. Nice big ex d dumb explosion, I love that. Ooh, this is an arcade game for sure. I mean, aside from it just saying arcade mode, like, I feel like this is basically the what, um... We'll try character creation. Let's see how deep this is. All right, you can put in your initials. Yeah, 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 we're just testing this out. Your color, your weapon loadout, okay? And that's it, okay. So it's not like a character creator. Unless you can unlock stuff, maybe? Network battle just makes me think, yeah, that this is an arcade game and it's not really. Like this, this has to be, um, with those characters, this has to be like third person, right? Like an arena shooter. Get a time item and you will gain time. Yeah, it's one of those. It's like, um, Heavy Metal Geomatrix or Spawn. Okay. Yeah, this 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 is the stuff that was coming out very very late '90s that Sega and a few companies all uh, were were coming out with. J just kind of doing the the Quake thing, or this is probably pre Quake. When did Quake Three come out? I don't. Ah, it's cool. It's cool. See, here's the problem with this: is that this I can already tell. Like this is it. This is a really fun thing, like a novelty to do 
in the arcades at the time but i'm not sure if this is this is not like a console full-bodied experience uh, spawn barely was that got by on the amount of characters you could you could uh unlock and the ip of course good job good job Result. i was i was kind of hoping for like a crazy um like gun game or something all right take down 12 terrorists in the time limit so there's 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 gonna be 12 terrorists running around this enclosed space they're just terrorizing this room i will say that this moves incredibly fast which is both good and bad uh i wonder what this used it might use like a, one of those control sticks and I guess I'm invincible? I, I, I'm, I'm Sonic now? I'm just supersonic? What's going on? There is something about the look to these sorts of games of this era, this kind of early arcade 3D that's so fucking good. Like this in the grid. Damn it, why didn't I ask Ed Boon about the grid? Fucking met Ed Boon at Evo. And we're talking about like just just the con. I should have been like, dude, the grid. But now it's like too late. Let's just let's just quit out and try another mode. That's so virtual fighter and shit. Did you feel that? I felt it. Yeah, so let's try mission mode and see what that's about. Um, let's take somebody else, maybe. Ah, yeah, I'm ah, ah, So mission mode, get all the medals. Okay, this is the same thing. That's not me. I thought it was blue ale. Oh, this is the demo? Wow, it's really like it was, it, this probably had like a weird control scheme with like an, uh, like a, a flight stick with a, with a, a trigger on it, right? Wow. Yeah, they're really concerned about people not getting this control. So, oh my God. Was that actual first person? We'll try that in a little bit. Kill 10 terrorists within the time limit. I mean, sure. And then stuck in his apartment house with a bunch of uh, terrorists, 12 specifically. Yeah, it, it just it just makes me think like towards the 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 well actually no towards all of the Dreamcast it's like port these arcade games but do the bare minimum of new content in them. And these will be full price games I assume. I mean as good as the Dreamcast is where it has this like unique library and like really good ports of certain things, it's like sometimes it's just too arcadey for its own good. Like, it's hard to justify bu buying some of those games. Especially something like this. Again, at least Spawn got by on, on how many unlockables. You know, stuff like, uh, what's what's the uh, zombie game? Uh, the zombie beat him up. Ah, oh, Jesus, I played another Zombie's Revenge. Like, that at least had some things. Dynamite Cop, obviously. But this, something like this is just multiplayer. Ooh, I thought I was controlling that for a second. Oh, God, now I'm nervous. Uh, no, no! <laughs> You have been shot. Whoopsie. Come on, do it. All right. So I have to dodge 11 of these. Let's see if I can do it. Th this has to have been extra content inserted for this. No, there's no way this was an arcade game doing this mission mode. Yeah, I got a big top score. I'm not sure if I'm saving these scores. Well, we'll go with arcade mode. Let's just see if the missions change radically here while, while I'm here in this mode. Uh, track down 12 terrorists. Take down 12 terrorists. It's close quarters combat. How? I don't have a close quarters option. Doesn't seem like I do. Oh, she's fast as shit, Lena. Yeah, it's almost like mercenaries mode. You know, just gaining more time as, as you shoot dudes. Or you get you get their watches. Just fall out of them. You know what I'm really pissed about? Like, this is fine. Perfectly functional. Whatever. I'm not having a terrible time. But it's like, why the fuck did Sega never release any of the Spike Out games on the Dreamcast? Like the original ones. I know Spike Out Battle Street, which was more or less like a weird remake on the Xbox, but there's like all these, the like two or three Spike Out uh, 3D beat em ups, and there's like the medieval spin off Slash Out, and I've tried emulating those, and they don't emulate very well. I've never really fully figured it out. Uh, but I, I want to play those so bad. Like, Spike Out Final or something is, like, the best version of it. And it's, like, it's one of the few... Yeah, 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 FPS, I almost forgot about it. Amazing. Ten seconds left. One enemy's left. And, like, even... You know what this reminds me of, too? I think Sega maybe published it, but the Royal Rumble game. This is such an arcade game. Oh, I have now they they're throwing a, a a team guy in the mix, so don't shoot him. Oh my God, this is like the fucking gun from RoboCop. Should buy this shit for a dollar. What was it called? Like the Cobra rifle or something? Had a big dumb name. I love it. Guys, you guys read that shit about how the director of District Nine 
Let's just quit out. Uh, the, the director of District 9 was going to make a sequel to follow up Robocop being in the 80s and just be a direct oh. sequel ignoring Robocop 2. And his whole mission statement was to just completely emulate Paul Verhoeven's, uh, Paul Verhoeven, sorry, uh, directing style. And it just never happened. This was like years ago that this fell apart. I'm like, man, I wanted that shit. All right, yeah, we can put bots in as the other characters. This might actually be a little bit more, I don't know, challenging. A lot of these stages look the same. Art museum, water sanctuary, dark castle, old castle. Sure, we haven't seen the castle yet. It's just like a medieval old castle. Start! But I am like kind of, I don't know, suitably impressed. There's like a third person arcade shooter that plays as well as this. Like if you remember for years, third person shooting was weird. It wasn't even this good. Like, I think this is because it was just designed in a certain way to keep everything clear, but like on consoles, third person shooters were just all over the place and how the mechanics like wasn't, you know, normalized yet. Like you go back to some on the PS2, GameCube, Xbox, and some are still really janky. But uh, like uh, th this this plays all right, I'm not gonna lie, but I, I see like the, the, the weapons that we can switch in, but it's like, I don't know, this needs like attacks or this needs like dumb quotes from the characters. Maybe melee. You know this uh, squad's backs of a win back. Total win back jobbers. A supply ammo warning. Hey, someone has a laser. Where do I get laser? That's the thing. Is your characters start with like loadouts? It seems. Oh my god! I actually got killed. That's cool. There's a little kill cam there, like proto kill cam. Ah, uh, yeah. Twenty two to seven. I am on the board in a commanding lead. Doesn't matter. I'm up. I'm fine. First, I'm the king of out trigger. Game over. Yeah, I think I think we're good here. I I think I think we might call it on out trigger. Totally fine, totally serviceable, but there's honestly not that much there. It's still not uh, not uh, bad in any sense of the word. But uh, yeah, that's it. I again, I have a feeling this might be one of those games that I personally didn't know, but everyone's like, oh yeah, out trigger. Totally, everyone remembers that AM2 classic. No, no one does. You can't convince me of that. Uh, but what you can convince me of is starting our last game of the video. Alrighty, last up we have MPEG soft deck it's one of the best games on the dreamcast no this is from pulse interactive never heard of you and um just like the theme of the rest of this video yeah i've never heard of this particular game this is only in japan this one and i will admit i don't know generally 4 30 is a bad time you see that on your clock and you're just like just lord take me and nothing good happens after 2 a.m when 2 a.m rolls around just go home and go to sleep you ever wake up and you see it's 4 30 you're just like fuck the world three is not that bad two is not that bad five is not that bad four is the worst jesus that's, that's a lot of popo naked man Ooh, umemaru 3d Ooh, it's umemaru energy there's so much of it oh my god kitty there there's the real action right there <laughs> what is that we are, I already fed you. We miscommunicated. We gave him two meals. I'm very excited to see what this is. I saw like one screenshot while researching. Saw the, the words undercover. What is with the cat? Why is it everywhere? Kato. Undercover. AD 2025? <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Very, very excited about what whatever undercover could be. I have a feeling that it's like third person action, like survival horror style, not survival horror, but like, uh, what was that other game that we played on the PlayStation video? Uh, Deep Freeze or whatever. Is this, is this an Astral Chain prequel? There's something about Dreamcast character models I really like. So I'm guessing this is an apartment building. This is the front manager. Maybe we heard a disturbance. There was a terrorist, um, like a bomb called in. Beep boop. <laughs> we need to check your browser history, sir. No, please. You can't, no. I'd rather just confess to the murder. They're not even looking at the fucking laptop. The girl's kinda. This is the criminal threatening and then there's a bomb somewhere in the building. Da -na 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 -na. Is, is a cat the part of the police force? Maybe it's a robo kitty. That's why it had the weird eyes. I just thought it was like an evil demon cat for a second. Oh shit, it begins. 
Ooh, gameplay begins. Yeah, it's very analog-y control. Not quite tank controls, but not very good either. So I have a baton. Stick it back into my ass. Pull it back out. It's back and forth. That's how you do it. That's how you get there. Um, oh, whoops. <laughs> That's so bad. That's not first person, is it? Or is it actually? Oh, cool. The second game of this video to do this. All right, so better better go talk to to this really wonderful creature I see before me. And oh, I guess this guy. Do <laughs> do. No, we're fucked. We're probably trapped in here. Meow. <laughs> that. But eh. oh, I like this. Is this like gonna be a police procedural? Uh, we should probably both go in here. Oh, this is a nice room. A lot of chairs haphazardly placed. Can't watch TV. Gotcha. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Oh shit. What? What? Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, oh, stop rolling. Wait, never stop rolling. What am I talking about? I don't have a gun. Oh. Oh, it's so awkward. Oh. No. Oh. Am I gonna die right here? So I can't- I can't crawl by the way, it's only roll. Oh my god. Uh. No. No, you must- get, Can I arrest him? No. No time for arresting, I'm a cop. Alright, I've murdered him. CAT! Uh, I don't understand any of this, obviously. Where's Liam? Oh. Alright, items. That's self-explanatory. Oh, I do have a gun. It was just locked in my inventory. For that picture got really big. We are really high up there. That is cool. The hell of a hell of a uh, skybox. Dinner, no, no. So yeah, maid got got smoked, got shot. Why? What did she see? What did she see that she wasn't supposed to see? Oh, back it up, back it up. <laughs> Fuck the police, but also fuck the police, am I right? Look at that, look at that, a lot of action there. Um, I could heal myself, why don't we do that? It healed it a little bit. I'm not sure there's much else to see here right now. May I have to go out and talk, talk to my partner. Yeah, thanks for the backup, jerk. Almost got fucking killed. Damn, y yeah, nothing? I guess I must have missed something in there. Like, is this, is this... Is this a door frame or is this? I don't know if that's an actual door. There's no bathroom, so maybe it's the bath. Okay, it is open upable. Oh, uh, uh, uh. oh shit! That yeah, that that guy's backing me up. What was that? A key card? I think so. I, what, what was this dude doing in here? Like he must have heard us fighting out in the the main room here. Doing it, doing it, doing it. Uh, oh, that's yeah, yes. Okay, progress. Oh my god, I'm gonna get a fucking kill in here. I, the, the controls... Oh! A little bit clunky. Okay, that's something at least. Ah! Oh! I didn't mean to shoot that last bullet. I'm not sure there's any other bullets lying around. Oh my god, yes, I need to just put that entire medkit in my mouth. Shove it in there. I could really use the backup. It'd be cool if I had a computer controlled partner that could back me up. Where's the cat? At least the cat would help. No! Oh. Uh. oh my god. Oh. Wait, who, is someone shooting him? Uh. Bye, have a beautiful time. Oh my god, you bastard. Oh shit, there's like a shitload of them. Yeah, I really wish this controlled a little better. It's it's just too clunky. It's like trying to be like a third person shooter, but the, the Dreamcast can't. It needs another control stick. I really wish my partner, maybe he did shoot them. He must have, that's how that guy died. I, I, I'm assuming there's gonna be a shitload of terrorists in here or whatever. Oh, okay, we're good. Yeah, I'm actually like zero on health now. Uh, sorry, zero on ammo. Well, mostly zero on health. That's great too. I'm just gonna get my ass beat no matter what room I go into. Oh, there's like six doors. How are we undercover, by the way? <laughs> I got a big police logo. Back of my shirt. No. Oh my god, I'm so fucked. Oh. Oh no. Uh, oh shit, she has to retire from the force. Due to death, it's just a hard game over. What are what are all these melancholy feelings coming over me? All right, that was undercover. Um, that was that was the harsh rule of undercover. Still kind of intriguing though. I'm not sure if that gets any more interesting or like crazy. There is a robotic cat though, so there is that. But for me today, Matthew, I think that covers it on Dreamcast games I've never heard of. I certainly have never heard of this one. But if there's any others you'd like me to play, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see if I can give you some of that more meaningful content.